Okay, I'm gonna do this as quickly as possible, even though it'll probably be like 13 or 14 minutes of me talk about the entirety of the movie in Crawl. Most of you barely know that this movie existed, which most of you already might know this. It came out nearly a year ago and it's only 87 minutes. And to the tile in the back says, if the storm doesn't get you, they will. So, it's this movie I'm reviewing right now. The story is plain and simple. A young teenage girl named... Haley. He tries to be a great swimmer. And this film is plain and simple. All that he wants to make... She wants to make her daddy proud of him. Of him... Her being the greatest diver of all time. This film timing is pretty much about her visiting her father in a horrible rainstorm that's coming down. Well, and her boyfriend. Uh, Okay, mind the swearing there. Just gonna just keep watching. I gotta turn it up a bit. Just keep watching. There. Uh. Lane tries to warn her it's too dangerous to be in the storm. Um, and it's really bad, but she refuses, and she really wants to visit her dad, and part of the town's already flooded down. How oh, dreadfully bad. And we see a bit of her backstory, having a great time with her, her father. And unknowing what happened to the mother. Which those of you might have watched the entire movie for yourselves. And her pet dog. Sugar. Her ends up in the house. Well, she searches around um, her home. Worrying and where he's at. She checks the kitchen, or one of the trees hit the window. Which is right about now. She ta checks down the basement, takes off her foot flops. And since she sees her father on conscience. And knocked out cold. She drags him and through the mud. Unaware that they are not alone. She covers him off on a, a plastic bag. Dragging him through the mud. And tried to carry him upstairs. And there's a security. The alarm. And a big huge surprise. An alligator. A crocodile starts attacking her. And tries to eat. Eat both of them. Her and the father. And try to move as quickly as possible. All through the pipes. So yep, basically the movie's plot is her surviving the alligator. Not one alligator. Not two. 
not free, but probably several more alligators that tries to eat them. This is pretty much the basic plot of the film. It's kind of like that movie, A Crocodile, from the 1980. But not humongous, and a big huge puppet. This movie is basically about a survival old game. Her father finally wakes up to realize he's their trapped app. And to make things worse, there's, it'll continue to keep raining until it's over flooded. And then they'll drown. So they have to figure out a plan to escape. She realizes she dropped her phone and then she'll try to do her best to get it. Her dad says, let's be careful. Her phone not. tells her there's more than one of them. She tries to sneak quietly. Even without being noticed. And tries to get the phone to call for help. She does that. And right behind her, she gets chased by the alligator. It's a bit on her leg. She fights back. And she kicks the creature in the face. And there was more of trying to eat her. She uses a little, little cage to keep their mouth shut or put them on the head. She slips right through them and through the wires. And she fights a bang a bit of her grip. And head to another center or ground sign. And since they can't reach her. And she's badly hurt. And then she's bleeding. She has a horrible stain on her leg because those dreadful creatures bite her. And I hit on a minute, it's really painful to watch her again into ble bleed like that. Anyhow, she uses a bit of her cloth to make her legs start bleeding. Oh yeah, there's another thing. In, in Haley's dad explains they can only sense and probably the movement of their prey or smell them. Or since their their move settings in the water. Anyhow, she tries to do her best to go upstairs and she sees a mall full of people trying to steal some stuff uh, from a gas station but them unknowingly 
We got under attack by the alligators. And most of them got badly and brutally devoured or by the creatures. She did try to yell for help, but it was too late. She opens the a door to get to the very top. It won't budge. So she has to go up there as quickly as possible. And there's some other people out there too. Knowing if there's any survivors. Unaware that there will be hunger tank by alligators too. She yells for help. Oh, that they're in trouble. That was no use. The rain was coming down too hard for them to hear them. He checks in the garage. garage. And even down the basement, not noticing there'll be a foul creature ready to eat him. Hey! Hey! Two down here. He hears them and goes downstairs. He was gonna try to help them, but unfortunately. The other two get eaten by the alligators. One outside brutally teared apart, while the other one gets also brutally murdered. She tries to save him, but it was also too late. So now it's only them left. So they after a good touching, heart feeling moment. And that they will survive. She will find a way to find their way out. She sees the dead body of the man that tried to help them. And she found their, their nest. All alligators. Yes, indeed. And there comes another one. She gets... It's... Destroy a few of their... Her eggs. She steps on with her feet. And then she grabs the gun from his dead body. The alligator starts... Munch on her arm and she shoots the creature from inside its head and then she actually got one so now she has to swim through the pipes and, and this scene always confuses me <laughs> even when I saw the clips of the scene there's no possible way she can hold her breath that long but yet it's a pretty intense scene No one can hold their breath that long. She could have been drowning in less than a minute. She looks around just to make sure the alligator is not in front of her. And this wrap things up. Up. I'll see you guys when I talk about the rest of this in part two. Oh, of The Crawl. Oh, even though most of these people already talked about this movie, it's actually okay. But I'll finish the rest of it 
in the second part, maybe. So, see you in the next video, ladies. Bye.